Hi guys, I just wanted to come on and give you a quick update about where I am with my business. So I have started this journey about a month ago and I've gotten two signings done and I just wanted to share with you about some of my challenges and how I overcame those challenges. And so it's been so fun getting to know you guys. Please keep commenting and please like and subscribe and share my channel with anybody that you think might also benefit from learning a little about my journey and what I'm doing here. Okay, so I wanted to talk to you guys about my two biggest challenges so far in this business. So those have definitely been how long it took to get my stamp in and I ordered my stamp through the NNA and other videos I've talked about how I recommend getting your stamp through Amazon because they're quicker that was a challenge it took about three weeks so obviously I was not able to do any signings at all when I didn't have a stamp to use but my stamp finally came in and I was super excited I got my first signing right away it was an annuity through notary go and I did a video about my first signing you can watch that and I felt great I was so excited the next day I got my second signing that was with a company who I shall not name <laughs> But they let me do this refinance and I went out, they ended up asking me to forge a signature and I did not forge the signature and I kind of found out that it was odd that they even let me do a refinance at all because I did not have my background check. So since that second signing, I have not been able to take any other signings because I am my background check through the NNA has not come through yet. And now some of you might be wondering, because I actually already got a background check through Oregon State. In my state, you have to get background checked in order to get your commission. However, that background check, I tried. <laughs> I called the state, I called the state police, but I'm not able to get a copy of that background check. So there's no way for me to use that background check that I got through the state to prove to the signing services that I am a reputable person that doesn't have a criminal history. So there's no way around the NNA background screening. In my case, I called and originally they had told me that mine was held up by due to a certain county I lived in. And just for a little background for me, my husband was in the Air Force and we did move around quite a bit. So my background check might take a little longer than other people's because they have to check many counties. But for some weird reason, my husband got his background check back before me. My aunt got her background check right away, but mine was just held up. So I was waiting and waiting and they had told me that it would come in on the 12th. And so I was like, okay, I'll just wait until January 12th. It'll come in. And I was super excited and ready to go. Well, the 12th rolled around and it didn't come in. And then the 13th came and I called and they told me that that county had updated and said like due to COVID, they don't have enough people to check and it wasn't gonna be in until the end of January. So at that point, guys, I was just feeling really defeated. Like I had done all of this work. I was so prepared and like my husband was here, he's getting signings, he's going out and doing signings. And although I am so happy for him and I'm excited and I'm walking along with him in that journey, there was also this part of me that just felt frustrated and I felt kind of defeated. And here I am doing all this work. I can't take any signings. All of these signings are being sent to me, just like left and right, my phone is going off. And on everyone, I have to say, I don't have my background check yet. I can't do it. And I just started feeling really down. And so I wanted to tell you what I did to get out of that funk. Because honestly, I was just feeling defeated and feeling like, oh, I've done all this work. It's nothing's working. And so here's what I did to get myself out of that mindset. I sat down with a piece of paper and I just went back. And I started writing down like, what were my wins? Okay, so what I, what I wrote down was, okay, I took my Oregon State required training and I passed it. I applied for my commission through the state and I received it. I am a notary for the state of Oregon. Like that's, that's awesome, that's a huge win. I went on to the NNA site and I took their notary essentials course. I learned more about being a notary and I passed that exam. I went through the whole loan signing system course and spent all of that time like learning and 
growing and I took that exam and I passed it on my first time through and that's a huge win like I am a really well educated loan signing agent like I'm ready and I got my stamp in the mail I got two signings in that was amazing and not only that but on my second signing I had them ask me to forge a signature which was a difficult situation that I wasn't really sure you know how to respond but I feel like I handled it really well with grace and with professionalism and I feel good about that that was a win and although it is true that there are some signing services out there that don't even let you start registering until you have your NNA background complete there are lots of others where you can at least start the process so there are many signing services out there that right now I have a profile that is incomplete so I just don't have that background check. So that one little piece is missing. So when I get a job offer sent to me, when I click on it, it says like you're missing some information and then it has like highlighted in red, your background check hasn't come in. But at least I've gone through the process, like I've started it, I've started registering with these companies. And you guys, I'm gonna do another video soon where I actually walk you through. I have like a list of, I think it's almost like 350 that I, figured out a way to get all of those companies myself and I've just been going through company by company and registering with each one of those companies and yesterday I just needed to do something so I'm sitting kind of waiting and I needed to know that I was just taking little baby steps to move forward so I went I went back to my list and I think I signed up for maybe like 20 more signing services yesterday and I was sending out emails to some of them. Some of them, that's how you, you start. You just have to send an email. And I got a really sweet response back from a gentleman that said like, hey, how did you find me? And I you know, told him a little bit about myself and he said he marked me as a preferred notary. So yes, that was like a total win. And in this process, as I was sitting down and I was writing down all of my wins you know I also wrote that I'm still doing life like I'm still a mom I have five kids my oldest is 13 and my youngest is two and three of my kids are homeschooling and my littlest my five-year-old is really wanting to learn to read so I've been teaching her to read and I've still been doing life like I've been taking care of my kids and I've been doing laundry and I've been making healthy meals and teaching them and you know uh, doing conflict resolution with my kids, all of those things that make me a good mom, playing puzzles and reading books. And, you know, I've still been doing all of those things while I'm also starting a YouTube channel and starting this brand new business. So when I sat down and I wrote it all out, I just realized that there were so many things that I had to be really proud about. And it just helped me to refocus my mind and focus on all of the things that I have to be thankful for and all of the things that are really huge wins in my life right now. And in doing that, I also sat down and just worked on remembering what is my why for this business and what are my goals to make sure that that really aligns. Because one of the temptations I could see, like as all of these job offers have been coming in, I was feeling like, oh man, if I could just take this signing and this signing and this signing and that signing, then I could have all everything that I paid to start this business already done. And it took me sitting down, my husband and I sat down together and we talked about, okay, what is our why? Like, why are we starting this business? And for us, I have a very specific little reason. I have a very specific goal and amount of money that I wanna make a month so that I could pay for some certain things for my kids, some, some things that we wanna do with them for their education. I had this very specific why and a very specific amount of money. And then we do have a bigger long-term goal of if my husband and I could do this together and we can do this many signings a month, it would be enough to replace his whole income so he could come home from work. But that is like long-term. So in the short term, I need to just not get ahead of myself. Like I don't want to be missing too much time with my kids. My kids are still little and I love them and I want to be with them. And so it just helped me to kind of refocus about like, hey, what was my why? Why am I getting into this business? And then make sure that my action steps and my goals are aligned with my real why. So I encourage you to do that as well. So just to recap, the things that really helped me when I was feeling down 
was to sit down and just write out my wins. And that's what I encourage you to do. If you're in a place with this business where you're just feeling a little down and defeated and things aren't really working out the way that you had hoped or anticipated, sit down and write down what are your wins? Like, what do you have to feel proud about? And then what is your why? Like, and what are your goals? And then just make sure that your action steps are aligned with what your goals are. So if you need to make a certain amount of money and that means this many signings a month, what are you doing to help get yourself there? And I'm here to help just encourage you along your way. And it's been so fun. It just, it's a natural part of my personality. I love teaching and I love encouraging. So I have really enjoyed getting to know you guys and some of the conversations I've had just reaching out to you guys. And yeah, so thanks for being here. Thanks for walking along this journey with me. Thanks for being an encouragement to me when I was having a down day and I hope I can be the same for you.